Hi there! In this video, I will show you how to set up QMU KVM virtualization server on headless Debian 11. I'm also going to show you how to configure bridge network and how to build virtual machine via libvirt and the command line. The first thing you want to do before you begin is you want to make sure that your system allows for virtualization. To do that, you have to run the following command. After you run this command, as long as the number you see here is above zero, you should be good to go. Now, if this number here shows zero, that doesn't necessarily mean your system does not support virtualization. It's possible that virtualization is disabled in your BIOS, so you're going to have to go in and enable it. Now, after you've confirmed and you know that your system supports virtualization, you can go ahead and install the following packages. Once you have the required packages installed successfully, you want to go ahead and check make sure that libvirt-d is running. And as you can see, it's loaded, active and running. So the next thing we want to do is we want to check our KVM for available networks. We do that with the following command. And as you can see, we currently have a default network that is inactive. So what we want to do is we want to activate it and we also want to turn the auto start on. That way, when your server reboots, your network will automatically turn on. To do that, we're going to run the following two commands. The next thing you want to do is you want to add the vhostnet kernel module on your system. To do that, we're going to run mod probe vhost underscore net. And then you want to go to Etsy modules. And here you're going to need to add vhost underscore net. That way it will load and boot. And then we just want to make sure that the vhost net mode is running. So you can do ls mod and we're going to grep for vhost. And we can see here that it's running. Once you have all that done, it's time to configure your bridge. And we do that in our Etsy network interfaces file. But before we touch the file, I would like to make a backup. So I'm going to do copy Etsy network interfaces and I'm going to call it back for backup. All right, the next thing you want to do is open the file and I'm just going to do a basic bridge configuration, but basically I'm just going to turn the bridge on. So the first thing you want to do is you can come down here where you see this allow hot plug and the name of your interface. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and copy the interface because we're going to replace this whole line. So I'm going to say here auto br0 and then down on this line I want to replace the name of the interface with br0. I'm going to keep that inet static. I'm going to keep the same IP address, the same gateway and the same DNS server. And here I'm going to add one extra line bridge ports and then here I'm going to paste my interface name that I copied earlier. And your interface name will be probably different than mine, so make sure that you use the interface that was in your file. Then I'm going to go ahead and save the file. Oh, one thing I almost forgot. In case you're using DHCP, you're going to have to change this, add all these lines, like the address and the gateway and the DNS. And you're going to have to make sure that they're responding to the ones on your network. Unfortunately, this is not the scope of the video, so I'm not going to go into details how to do that. But if you have any questions, don't don't worry, you can ask in the comment section and I'll try to help you as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead, save the file, and the next thing I'm going to do is reboot my computer. Now that the computer has rebooted, we can go ahead and check and make sure that our bridge is being configured properly. So we do that with the following command. And as you can see, we have our bridge configured and running. The next thing we can do is go ahead and build ourselves a virtual machine on the server. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of directories. I'm going to create one where I'm going to put my ISO files and another one that I'm going to be putting in my virtual machine. So I'm going to do make their ISOs and make their VMs. And then I'm going to run a command just to make sure that we don't have any machines running, which we shouldn't. It's a brand new fresh server. So I'm going to say versh list dash dash all. And right now we don't have any machines running. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go into my ISOs folder. And here I'm going to download a 
very tiny Linux distribution called Puppy Linux. All right, now that I have the ISO of Puppy Linux downloaded, I'm gonna execute the following command, and this command will create the virtual machine for me. So I can quickly go over the command, basically what it does is it calls vert install, and then gives the name of the virtual machine. Here we specify the type of the Linux, in our case, Puppy is not a very big distribution, so it's unknown. We give it one gigs of RAM, two CPUs, path to where the disk will be created. We say that it's gonna be open for VNC. That's how we're gonna remote into our machine. Here we plug in the ISO and the CD-ROM, and we give it the, the boot order, which is CD-ROM and hard disk. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and it will take a couple of seconds and the machine will be up and running. Now to confirm that our machine is running, we can run versh list, and we have the pub VM up and running. The next thing you wanna do is in order to connect to this virtual machine, you wanna get the port that it's listening on. So to do that, you can run the following command, versh VNC display, and then we give the name of the virtual machine. In my case is pub dash VM. And you can see here that this machine is running on port zero. So then you can open your favorite VNC viewer. In my case, I'm gonna use the VNC connect. And here I'm gonna go ahead and put the IP of my QMU box, cause that's what's gonna pass us through the machine. So we're not connecting directly to that machine cause that machine does not have VNC server running on it, but we're gonna go through our hypervisor through our QMU box. So here I'm gonna enter my 192. 168.0.4 and that will be in port zero. Here we're gonna accept this and there we go. We're in our pub Linux. And here you can just use this as you would if it was a standalone server. And then the next thing you may wanna do is just kinda go open your console and check to make sure that um, your bridge is working properly. So this IP should show as a part of your network. So if you run IP space A, and as you can see, our IP is 192.168.091, which is part of our 192.168.0 network. So that's pretty much it. Um, I know I said that I'm gonna show you how to do that in a virtual machine manager, but I think this video is getting a little too long, so I'm gonna leave here for now, and I'm gonna make another video where I can show you how to install virtual machine manager in your system, and how to connect your QMU KVM server with it, and how to create a virtual machine Android. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe for my channel.